our video. So we're going to look at Warner Brothers and the uh, great decisions they're making at the moment. Um, so Empire's report is saying no to the air cut of Suicide Squad. I have Ellie behind me. She's not feeling too well, but but you but you will hear her voice every every now. And then. Uh, so we're going to look at this article. What's going on with them, honestly? The fucking head of Warner Media, fucking like, what a martyr. There's a whole lot. Oh, the words of General Saul, pack of fools, every one of them. I, 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 I don't get them. It's like if they said the Snyder Cut, it's like a dead end. If they say that, then why not get the A Cut? Because Suicide Squad's still a part of the universe. And I don't get, like, is there anything? big in the David Ayer's cut that will affect affect it in any way. I don't I don't get why they won't release it or why could they say, oh it's this alternative version. I mean in my mind it's the true version if they did release it. But I, I just don't I just don't get the thinking of what's what's actually going on with them. I just hope AT and T just gets more involved and just get gets just get rid of half of them, put the put new people in. Anyway, we're just going to read this article real quick and let's figure out why these idiots aren't doing it. So even after the huge fan campaign, it was a little surprise to see Zack Snyder's Justice League actually appeared this year, despite that those banging the drum for the director's cut of David Ayer's Suicide Squad. We'll be disappointed that for now at least, one of the brothers has no intention of making that a reality, so if we all keep campaigning for it, hopefully we should get it. Um, ask about the potential by a by variety. A one of the media studio CEO Anna Snernoff, uh, offered the blunt reply: "We won't be developing David Ayer's cut. Never say never, but that's pretty firm." Okay. Also, if you were thinking that the Snyder cut release would crack the DCU back open for one more of the, the director's work, open for more of the director's work, uh, that also seems unlikely right now. I like how the, okay, I like how she's putting that right now, like, okay, everyone's bickering at the moment, so this could happen, this could not happen. Um, I appreciate that they love Zack Snyder's work, and we are very thankful for his many contributions to DC. We're just so happy that he could bring his Justice League cut to life. No, you're not. You wanted to release it unfinished, you know, with crappy CG music, which weren't meant to be there. Because they just put it there, just to, I can't remember the reasons, but they just put like temporary music there in, this to, for just because that character's on or some, something like that. I was watching, Zach was talking, and why would you do that? Why would you just release it like that? Ugh. So um, because it wasn't in the plan until about a year ago. With that comes the completion of his trilogy. Well, this five films, not three. Uh, we're very happy we've done this, but we're very excited about the plans we have for all the multi-dimensions DC characters that are being developed right now. So why can't it be a multiverse then? I, I don't get it. If you're, if you're banging on about multiverses, that, I mean, we've got two Flashes, two Batmans, multiple Supermen. What, so surely that would embrace your multiverse. You you please the Snyder fans, and you not just the Snyder fans, you please the people that like in these films and it, and just as it has even pleased the people who maybe not a fans of uh, BDS and Man of Steel but who likes Justice League and likes to see more of Justice League you know so I don't really understand and I was reading oh, I was reading somewhere about that lady Anna Snornoff, um about she don't like how toxic the fans are being and stuff I thought that's not all fans. Don't don't link a few negative comments with all people. You always gonna get one rogue, key warrior, you know, moaning. Um, it's like when people protested, and some sometimes the protests get angry. You don't say all the protesters are doing it. No, you say some individual few who was not part of the group who just wanted to cause trouble. And this maybe some people just want to be a dick. You know, so I didn't like how they're handling it. You know, and I mean, it's there's so much going against it. But if it does well, of course, I want to pee back the success off it. It's like with Joker; they didn't want to do Joker. You know, Todd Phillips managed to do it, 
and then the fucking ooh, made over a billion. We want more of that, so um it's just the bastards of this. I don't get it. It's clearly people are liking this and I'm gonna do a video thinking tomorrow about uh the ratings between them. So I don't get why I won't do it. I don't know, we just have to wait and see. Hopefully a few months time it'll be gone, but Anyway, I hope you enjoy and take care.